Hi, my name is Colin Marsh and prior to retiring in 2003, I spent six years as the Dean of Highqual University and I have to say it's great to be back in a capacity as a consultant with uh, Highqual and back involved with all the tremendous products that they make. And what I'm going to be talking about today is our line of feeding products, uh, both for round bales, square bales and for grain feeders. And to begin with, I want to talk about our Tombstone Saver. Uh, this was the product that really got Highqual on the map back in the 1980s and was our first patented item. Our research and development department uh, looked at the problems that were currently uh, associated with bale feeding and there was two key issues that they came up with. One was that they wasted too much feed and secondly, they weren't durable enough. So they came up with this new patented design which we refer to as a tombstone. Now the key feature of this product is the fact that not only is it the tombstone design but it is also slopes inward towards the bale. So as you can see, it creates an inner ring and an outer ring. So when your cattle come in and they feed, as they're picking at the bale, the loose feed drops inside the feeder instead of on the ground where it gets trampled and wasted. Another nice feature about this design is the fact that it's got an open top. Uh, traditional bale feeders have a top ring. So what we found from our research is that when the cattle are feeding in this product, they tend to keep their head in the feeder rather than lifting up and pulling feed out. So again, you get additional savings. Research at the University of Manitoba has shown that with the Tombstone Saver, you're going to save an average of about 60 pounds for every thousand pounds fed compared to a traditional slant bar style feeder. Now what you'll also find with the Tombstone Saver is when the cattle are feeding, they lean in, their legs are kept back before their shoulders hit the uprights, which takes away their leverage and they no longer have the ability to move the feeder or cause damage to the uprights. Some other key things to look at, there's other similar designs on the market, but construction is very important. This top ring, as you can see where the hoops are welded to it, takes a lot of stress and has to be a lot heavier than a standard 16 gauge. So in our product, we're using an 11 gauge top ring. We also have the sheeting on the outside of the product. Again, the sheeting helps save hay, but more importantly, it stops the cattle from climbing up and getting inside the feeder. The Tombstone Saver comes standard with uh, 15 feeding stations, so it's very high capacity. Uh, it'll take up to a six foot round bale. Um, and you can also actually take the feeder apart and use a hinge kit. So over here at the joint, you just take the bolts out, you install the hinge, now you pull the pin, open the feeder up, and you can now feed with a three-point hitch. So again, more convenient, more versatile. Also, it's important to look at, if you look at the bottom, there's three mud legs on each feeder panel, and what the mud legs do is they keep it up, again, out of the mud, that's why we call them mud legs, but it prevents it from freezing down in the, in the winter. So if you can imagine, if this bottom ring was down on the ground and frozen, and you came to move this feeder, with your loader, you put a chain over the top and grab it and try to pull it up, it puts a lot more stress on the product. So again, very important to keep that up off the ground and out of the mud. One final thing to point out when we're talking about quality and durability with high quality products, a simple design change has made a world of difference. Uh, you'll find our tombstone savers now have a uh, vertical support post, which is welded between the top ring and the bottom ring underneath each tombstone. What that means is you now, when there's pressure placed on the upright, You've got the vertical post, the horizontal ring, and the sheet metal all working together in a coordinated fashion to prevent any bending. So what it all means at the end of the day is that this feeder will last you for 10, 15, 20 years and it won't end up in the boneyard out in the back 40.